I'm so excited to share with you guys how to edit a composite in Avoto. So I have got my image here and I'm gonna keep it short and sweet for you. So we're gonna go over to the backdrop um, panel and then you're gonna go down to the backdrop changer. Now we're gonna click on this plus sign. Um, we're gonna find our backdrop and import it. Now I will say you have to make sure it's the right size. It won't let you use um, images larger than 10 megabytes. So make sure it's the right size. Anyway, I'm going to come in here and select my background and I'm gonna press open. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You're gonna click on your background and it's probably not gonna look that great here because it tried to figure out that this is my subject correctly, um, but I only want the backdrop to be on the top part of his head. So we're gonna change our masks around. So you're gonna click on this little button right here that says manual tuning. Now, I'm gonna change around where this mask is because it tries to act like my hand is part of the subject. So I wanna remove that. And then I also want to add all this back into my subject, if you will. That way it's not going to be altered. So we're going to start here with our um, remove button and just make sure your softness is all the way up. And I'm just going to take my hand out of this equation here. And then I'm also going to add in the rest of this um, as if it's like part of my subject so the backdrop changer isn't gonna mess with it. So now I'm gonna click on the add mask area and I'm just going to brush all of this very softly, brush it all around like that. And I feel like I wanna just come in here one more time and just make sure um, I've got everything that I need. Now I'm gonna press okay. And uh, bada boom, what do you know? My hand is gone. Now we can tweak where our image is placed. So if you come over here um, to where it says vertical and horizontal, you can like move around your placement of it. Um, as far as vertical, I think it's fine. I think I might move it over. Oh my goodness. I think I might move it over one little notch. Actually, I don't think that I love that. Let me bump my size up one and then, um, it's kind of filling it in right here. I'm gonna go up one more, and then I might go one over. Nah, I don't like that. I like that right about there, honestly. I think I might just tweak where my mask is brushed right here just to fill that part in right there a little bit more. But that's it, you guys. That is as simple as it is. I hope this helped. If you guys are interested in any more tutorials on Photoshop, stuff like that, I offer those on my TikTok, on my YouTube. Go check them out. Thanks, guys.